I think that's only like the first or second time since I started running this category that I've miscounted the parries though, so that's not too bad. Like that's just gonna happen sometimes. Cause there's so much your mind has to like track on these kind of fights. That fight especially, like, I, I went down to 3 HP really early, so I was having to, like, really make sure I didn't get hit. So I was pretty much putting all my mental energy into not dying. It's on. It's okay, we can get another run going. Still not sure if in the race I want to go for the clip or not. <sighs> Tomorrow I might work on the other strat and see, like, the ninja clip or whatever and see how good it feels to me, how good or how bad it feels. So I don't want to do something that's, like, going to be just as sketchy. But there is this uh, clip called the ninja clip you can do as well that's supposedly a lot more consistent. It's good practice to you to do all this early stuff. That's kind of an interesting uh, thing about preparing for a race like this. When like a cat, especially when like a category is new to you, like I'm learning a category, is normally in speedruns, it's actually really smart to put a lot of your focus on the late game. Cause in general, you're just not gonna get to those levels as often cause you reset and play the earliest parts a lot more. Um, but the, the other kind of thing about it is, that done. Let me do this menu real quick. Okay. Yeah, it's I, I tried to do that menu too fast, so it uh <laughs> it got menu locked or whatever. But yeah, like in a race, like the early levels are just as important as the last levels. Like your consistency on them. So I still have to put like a ton of focus on the even like stuff like forest follies to make sure that you know that's gonna go well. Cause right now it's like ah if I fail forest follies just reset, who cares? But in a race, ah, you're kinda stuck with that run. You gotta get through Forest Follies. And you gotta finish the run out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on some of that stuff to make sure it's consistent. I'll probably do that tomorrow since the race is gonna be on Sunday. Here's a real high class belt. It's on. Uh, okay.
gonna be getting this phase, but that's actually okay. As long as I don't get two cycles of it, it should be fine. Okay, we're good. It's kind of the same thing as getting a three cycle in the first phase, which I actually aim for that sometimes, so. In this situation, this isn't that bad. <laughs> I tried. Really close. You kind of need some good luck with like getting a quad or something weird to get that one cycle. It's really hard to generate a card. I noticed I missed one lobber there too. Um, so that might have cost getting a one cycle slots there. But that's okay. Honestly, just getting through Ribby with an S is like, I'm happy with that. <laughs> When I first started learning this category, I was learning the levels in order, and Ribby was like the first wall. <laughs> it's like, oh god, this is rough. Wow. <laughs> He's just hopping, man. Ooh, okay. I guess that was partially because I had the, that one phase extended. Not bad. It's not quite as good as last run so far, but it's fine. Like, this pace is super workable. <clears throat> Gotta get through Hilda again, though. Just gotta try to keep track of the parries on Cagney this time to make really make sure that I don't mess it up. Hopefully I can avoid getting hit in the phase one because then I can I could put a lot more mental energy into like tracking stuff like that. This match will get red Instead of having to just like You're make sure I don't put myself into a bad spot and get hit. <laughs> Especially an expert, there's a lot of like putting yourself into a better spot. So that if you do get like a really hard pattern, um, that was bad. I got a couple ticks. Um, if you do put yourself into a really hard spot, you, you know you have some space to work with to dodge or whatever. I kind of didn't want to kill that plane. He had a parry, but we'll get two more elsewhere, I guess. There's one. And we're good. So we got all the parries we need. Should kill. Close. Okay. <laughs> I always think she's gonna die a little bit sooner than she does. She just has so much health on expert, it's crazy. Yo, Kirithur, how's it going? Thanks for the good luck, man. I did move up to second place today, barely. I had a I had a pretty horrendous Calamaria pattern that led to me having to do a retry. <laughs> It, it would have been world record without that, but still. The curse frame, yeah. Okay, let's try not to mess up Kagan this time. I'm gonna focus.
One. Oh my god, dude. These this RNG is freaking And I can't even get that. Okay, I definitely have three. Definitely have three. Very much a three. Okay, we're through. Pretty scuff. That phrase one was really rough again. It can it can get really dice secure there. <laughs> Somar with your brothers. Nice. Yeah, like the way I try to play it too, it, it, it can it can lead to a very fast Cagney time, but it's a bit it's a little riskier. Um instead of like chasing after the seeds to get the three parries at the start, I just I just only take the parries if they're right there. And then if if basically like the dude will end up growing in the back. And I just let him be and, and parry his projectiles. But it does it does make it pretty sketchy. <laughs> but it, it is faster if it works out. Because you don't have to like go out of your way to get the parries if you know in a, in, a, in a dream world. Oh wow. That was a long phase. Nice. Two parries, that's good. One parry? Aw. Gun, maybe? Hmm. I gotta wait on the wheel. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have EX'd him. I actually should have slowed the kill on that guy. I had a really good bonbon in my PB. <laughs> like it was like a really lucky and good bonbon. That one would have been a equivalent if I got a parry jelly bean at the very end. I also could have, if I could have baited her to pull out gun, I could have got that parry and also like had a pretty good time. Not bad though, I'll take it. Okay, we're through. That was a cold 10.69. All right, we're on pace. Yeah, this is this is still a really good pace. Um, a lot, a couple tricky bosses here though. I, I consider both Wally and Jimmy to be pretty rough for this. I honestly don't. Beppy sometimes can get a little scary, but I don't think Beppy's too bad. Compared to these bosses, at least. The triple egg? Okay, good.
Oops. Oh, wow. Okay, that was clean. It was so fast. It moves super weird too, Kirito. Like, it gets like these bursts of speed. I don't know how to describe it, but it feels like in regular, it's so much more like controlled how it moves. And in expert, it's like these random, like, it'll just shift up or down like uh, vertically super fast or like slowly move left or right. But then all of a sudden it's super fast. It's like a very specific way that it moves on uh, on expert. Good day for us. Well done. It's on. This could be rough. Parries? Any parriers? Any parriers? God dang it. <laughs> I can't believe this dude. Again, dude, can you believe it, Markin? Isn't this like two runs in a almost in a row? I'd never even seen that until today. Oh, that was a little early. Okay, well, I'm gonna go for the strat where I just freaking monk a steer this phase then. Okay. Oh my god, okay. I didn't, I didn't expect him to start shooting me again, man. That was scary. Okay, we're fine. Freaking Jimmy, man. <laughs> <sighs> the expert puppet does not screw around at all. Yo, Bubble, thanks for the follow. Can't even imagine what it's like on 1.2. Like, what are what the expert secret face is like? That has to be freaking wild as well. One. Okay, we have all our parries. Okay. Oh, that's awkward. Oh. Well, good thing I had the HP. At least I know I have the parry, so I don't have to go for the psycho train. through thank goodness if you had to actually deal with the penguins this would be so much worse <laughs> doing the pit the penguins hitless is really hard unless you like kill the penguins which is what they do in hitless runs i think all 
All right, last running gun of aisle two. It's on. Pretty short one if things go well. Actually golded it, cool. You could I could cut off a couple more seconds if I tried to bait the cars to spawn at the start and try to clip through the first phase, but it is it is super risky. Cause you have to take an extra damage boost. Alright, we got old Grim Matchstick. A great climb and then done. The big Dargan himself. Okay. Okay. I'm not tripping, right, guys? That was three parries. Dang, that tail actually got me. That's not good. <sighs> oh, little off angle. like do the gun <sighs> goodness man <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen him go for that many fireballs three parries thank goodness <laughs> this category is so rough <laughs> okay 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 honey bottoms everything will be fine nothing, nothing ever goes wrong on honey bottoms You excited for the race Sunday, Kierter? Good day for us. Well battled. Here goes. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that bee's immortal. Freaking buff worker. God. Take it. Uh, Calaverita. That's going to be a really good match.
I'm just excited to watch all these races. It's on. The pain of your existence when you played Cuphead. Hey, welcome in, Alec. <laughs> I think it was for a bunch of people. <laughs> That's a hard boss. It's kind of like such such joy from a lot of players. They're like, oh, I got past Grim. You know, because Grim is pretty infamous. And then it's like immediately they give you freaking honey bottoms. It's brutal. A little bit of a troll goat there. to wait out the auto scroll on my last one. I know, character, it's so bad. That last phase, especially like, Lobber is not designed very well for that last phase. Lobber spread is like the worst weapon combo ever for freaking last phase honey bottoms. If you don't kill her like immediately. And that was cutting it tight on getting the card in time. Can't see anything. Actually, not bad. I have a harder time too with uh, blue blue parries in this one. Usually things go better if it's if they starts with the red parries. So that wasn't too bad. <clears throat> now, Worman, this is one of the bosses that can kill the run immediately. It's very luck dependent. Because I, I really need the catapult. Like, I need the catapult to appear, or else it's really bad. Here's a real high class belt. Yeah, exactly, Alec. It's so brutal. No mercy from uh, Studio MDHR. Oh boy, here we go. Please just give me the catapult. Dude, how is it possible to get this pattern as often as I do? It's like every other run, dude. Okay, at least it gave me all the parries. That's better than I've gotten treated on some of these runs. Mashing buttons intensifies. I love that bong bongo cat thing. <laughs> yeah, um... So there's this thing where if you press the A button at the exact right time, that happens. On skill level, all the stars appear and we call it star skip. It's really, like, no one's found a way to, like, actually time it 
So what we do is we just mash the A button and just hope. <laughs> we just hope we get it to save some time in the scoreboard. So I, I mashed very, very, very hard on the A button uh, on the scoreboards to to try to get those star skips to save time. Oh, oh. Okay, I'll take a squid. Okay, we got all the parries, that's good. Okay. Okay, nice. It's actually not bad. Oh yeah, like timing timing the dice. Yeah, I've I've got a lot of practice on that. Um on like getting the right number. So that's a that's a neat way of learning it though, for what you said. Yeah. I don't think Worman didn't really give me much trouble on my first playthrough either. And begin. Calamaria, on the other hand, <laughs> a little bit of a problem, boss. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be really careful here with because of that guy. Thank you for the follow, by the way. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Good level. Well, here we are again. Here we are again. Calla Maria. Will you cooperate this time? I've, I've gotten here two times now today. But will, to, will this be the run you give me parries? So I kind of need him for the S ring. This match will get red please give me parries. Have mercy on me, Calamaria. Please. It's not a good start. Redfish? Don't be yellow. Oh my god. <clears throat> Come on, pufferfish, pufferfish, yes! Give me three three parries, three parries. Don't be on the right. Two. Okay, there's a third. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're in go mode. This is good. This is good. Oh, even some bonus parries. Thank you. You know, Calamaria is really looking out for me. We've. It's been a very hit or miss relationship, but today is all right. Minute 36. Nice, nice. Thank, thank you, thank you. She cooperated this time. Uh, shooting the octopus actually makes him move faster. I guess you could call it motivation. 
I'm not even joking like it. It was something the developers actually told TMR, the Mexican runner, who's one of the speedrunners of this game. Um, the developers are like, hey, you can shoot the octopus and he swims faster. <laughs> All right. So I, I had an insanely lucky Sally. So I'm probably going to lose time here. But we'll at least uh, we'll at least see what we get here. There's one heart. I have to wait. Okay. Two hearts. So we're going to go for a rose. I might not go for the big wave damage boost. See what that looks like. Okay, I'll take that. That fan was a little bit weird. Oh my god. I just want everyone on the internet to know that I never saw all the Harry Potter movies. I just pretended I did to be cool. I regret it and I need to apologize. I'm sorry. Thank you for the apology, Cross. Dude, did anyone know how tall the rose is? Dude, I gotta look at that later in the hitbox thing. That rose, I swear I was like, I didn't even look like I was close to it and it hit me before I could parry it. That was so scary. Thanks for the 69 pits cross, by the way. Dude, that rose was so rough. Like, shocked me when it hit me. Oh, yeah, the secret route's pretty tricky. It's super weird. I never realized how weird it was until just now. A great slam at that time. Now, go! That's fine. Oh my god, dude. It's okay, we'll do two EXs here. Okay, we'll let that do its thing. We're gonna move over. This is fine, so far. Nice, dude. That was a sick phantom. <laughs> that last phase was super, super good. Ah. Oh. The good news is I think we had a we had a spider, if I'm not mistaken, on Devil. So we have some time to save here if things go well. But I do think I had a gold king dice. Yeah, I did have a gold king dice. So this is gonna be a bit tricky. But we have some potential here. The DLC might have running guns. Um I would I would honestly assume it has like two, but I don't know. Cause I You'd think we'd need more coins. Okay, let's go for a two. So the tricky thing here is I'm getting no bonus hearts at all. So I don't have very much room for air.
Oh my god. I had to be a little careful there. Okay, not bad. Yeah, Rylan. Unfortunately, that doesn't work on the uh, doesn't work very well on the newest patch, but it does work on all the older patches of Cuphead, which is awesome. It's a big part of what helps helps people go fast. <laughs> Getting that huge double damage lobber EX. A brawl is surely brewing. Here goes. Flick lobbers are a little bit off. Oops. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go for a three. And then a two. Sabrina, thanks for the follow. Oh boy. A hmm. little awkward there. I don't I don't think we're getting a gold here. We're probably gonna lose a little bit of time. The other the other run I had some bonus hearts and I, I could play super aggress aggressively. But I couldn't play as aggressively this time. Had to, having to be a little bit safe. Because sometimes stuff really goes wrong in this last phase. Like the expert cards are a lot less generous. A great slam and then some. You're up. Nice, nice. Okay. Only lost a second. That's good enough. That is good enough. All right. All right. It comes down to this. No pressure, right? We just have to have a good devil, and this could be world record. <sighs> no pressure. No pressure. <clears throat> just a nice little stroll through hell. All right. I gotta get an S rank though. We can't just beat the boss. I gotta get an S rank or it doesn't count. Thanks for the good luck. I I'll need it. Okay, that's a good start. That is a world record. Heck yeah. Oh man. <laughs> there we go. 4201.90. Yeah, almost. That's crazy. Oh. There we go. Thanks for the follows, everybody. Thanks for so much for the GG's. Oh my goodness. So many GG's. Thank you all. 
<sighs> all right, all right. World record <laughs> for all SMP. I'll definitely submit this.